Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and a brand new video. There's some bits that I um from like charity shops um that I've picked up. Now these this was like weeks ago. And it's kind of been in the spare room. I kind of washed them and some have got labels on, some of them haven't got labels on. There's a bit of clothing, bit of bric a brac. So if that's something that you really enjoy, then of course continue watching. I've missed doing this so so much and I would really appreciate if you continued watching. Basically, um, me and Chris went to um, like an animal sanctuary. Um, in fact, I'll just put the name underneath here. If you are local, um, you might be aware of it. Um, it's a very small sanctuary. Well, I won't say small, but um, I think it's like... I don't even know how to explain it, but they kind of like depend on donations. It's really inexpensive to get in, but basically in the little um, like um, reception area where they've got like a little cafe, you can have a cup of tea. And um, they've got like a little um, charity shop, but it's not like price. It's literally you pick it up and you make a donation, and it kind of made that kind of experience just a lot better for me. Um, so there's a little bit um, that I did kind of like and I did take home with me. So that's what I'm going to show now so one of the things that i did pick up was this um jar very random i'm sorry about the light um but it's just like this little cherry um jar and it's actually from if i just show you the bottom it's actually from tesco there was another one in there and um, so i've kind of had two um, but one, you literally could not open the lid. Um, so it's just really nice and clean. So this is going to be perfect in the cupboard. Um, I did a few weeks ago before I come before I was Peely I did actually do some organization in the kitchen. Um, so if you do like some organization videos, um, I've got all of those coming your way. The next thing that I did pick up was this. I'm going to call it a pie dish I haven't actually got a pie dish um and to be honest even though it is a lover i think that's actually really really lovely um so again that was just donation not really priced um and i thought that was really really nice is that a pie dish i think it is because you can just fill whatever you want in there and then put the pastry on top or whatever um but i thought that was really really nice and i have organized all of like my pots and my pans and all that oh it's just been amazing um so i've done all of that and now i've got everything in its place um i thought this would be really lovely to put in the cupboard as well yeah really love that but so from the cancer research shop um i actually picked up these two books um so they're just weight watchers now i'm not on a weight watchers diet or anything like that when i was looking through the books um in cancer research you could get two books for a pound and i noticed these so this one is called hearty hearty harm cooking loads of different recipes that you can take from and i think it's just always nice looking these kind of books because um you know you can make something and it like i said it can be a little bit healthier so they won't use as much cream or you know using alternatives and still making it really tasty um i don't know i just really have been into it and um, so i wanted this one which is the heart of home cooking um, but they had um a sweet one which is like all dessert um so look you can literally just see like all different kind of desserts in there uh, which is always nice and um, like i said i've been really into it at the moment i did actually make um this um the other day making marble chocolate and banana loaf honey cocoa powder eggs banana extract butter white bananas flour and sugar Made a cake tin, some liners or greaseproof paper, just like this. We're going to add the cocoa powder with some boiling water and leave to the side to cool. Add the bananas and then give them a good mush. We then add two eggs, the vanilla extract, and then we put it to the side and we get a fresh bowl so we can add the flour, the butter and the sugar. And then we mix that all together and then we add it to the banana mix. We then put a third of this mixture to the side and add the cocoa powder mix to give that a good stir and then we put it into the tin separately so then we can give it a nice marbled look just like this. There we are and then this is when it's come out the oven. Absolutely delicious. Give it a cut, open that up and there we are, finished product. 
Yes, yeah. it's a marbled chocolate and banana loaf. Now, of course, you do need like your sugar, but you know, most of us, if you do do these kind of things, you've got like your flour, um, your vanilla extract and your butter and stuff. Um, and you just needed some ripe bananas. I had lots of ripe bananas um, and it was just a perfect thing. I just needed to get some cocoa powder. Um, so yeah, I've been really, really enjoying. Um, so I've been looking through this, picking out some ideas. And then what I do is I go to the supermarket, make a list and create some really tasty meals. So those were one thing that I got. I went on too long about these books, but I just wanted to let you know. Another thing from the cancer research lab was this. Um, now I know and I am aware that this would have been a set like I'm assuming you would have had to buy them separately but um, I just got the tea of course there would have been coffee and sugar um, but I am a tea lover I don't really drink coffee or anything like that and I thought I looked at this and it's like it's never been used it's actually from Dunelm and this was a pound um, I just loved it because it's got like the little love art on there and some of my um, accessories in the kitchen have got love art on them um, and I just love like the little love art on top and I'm already using it I've already got my tea bags in there um, but I absolutely really love that of them the other thing that I did get from the animal sanctuary was this like door hanging thing again love arts i think i've got a thing going on here and um, this is just for the bedroom to put like my dressing gown on um so it's really really nice i have just gave it a nice wipe and because i've showed you this now i'm actually going to put this on the door um i just really liked it there's quite a few hooks on there as well so i can add some more things on if it needs be so i picked up that I think I might show you some clothing now and um, there is just one other little bric a brac thing which I, I can't believe I found um, but it's absolutely beautiful um, but what I've done as I've picked up I wash this one but I haven't washed this one um, so they're literally just basic it's a bit creased but this one isn't um, so I haven't washed it um, yeah so this was let's have a look a pound and this was £1.50. So they're literally like classic um, just vest tops. And I really like this one. This was a green, like a greeny khaki one. I kind of like that. You can pair that with like some nice jeans or anything. And like an our raw cardigan or something. I don't know. Um, but that's like never been worn. Um, and I bought these because like I said, that was £1.50. Because these are really perfect for like, I don't know, lounging about in especially when it's warmer or even like going to bed in um i just think i don't know they're just i just really like them so i just thought i'll pick them up it's always worth just having the basics um one thing that i was absolutely i love these um i actually picked up some pajamas um now these are matching so if i just showed you these so these are the trousers, quite oversized, which I love. So that's like the pattern. And I love it because that's like at the bottom. Um, but these are actually from Sainsbury's and I love these type of um, pyjamas where like the stretch like that. These are like my ultimate favourite, they're like really comfortable. So these are the trousers, but I absolutely loved um, the top part. So if I just showed you that, it feels really chic and bougie. And um, again, it just doesn't look like it's been worn very much. Um, now these pair were a fiver for the for the pair. Um, yeah, a fiver. But to be honest, they really are a size. And I actually think that wasn't too bad because Sainsbury's, you know, it can be expensive. Um, and yeah, everything's just going up, isn't it? Um, but I really, really like them. It's like a little collar a collar shirt i don't know i just thought they were really really nice let's put them there um i also picked up um not to everyone's taste but i actually really liked it it's really light um really like for summer um i can imagine these with like a pair of jeans um some sandals so it's got like that arm where it's like not a full on i can't even explain it's not even coming up properly on here is it um it's just like a if i come closer like that's like the pattern and it's actually from dorothy yeah dorothy perkins 
I don't know, obviously people probably won't like that. It's actually coming up darker in person. But as you thought, some nice jeans, some nice like sandals, like gold sandals or anything. I think it comes, oh, I think it ties at the bottom, look. Like a really light summery top. And that's kind of like the material. I don't know. I actually really like that. It's really nice in person. Um, and then the next thing that I did get, which I need to iron, but I've already washed this, which is like um, like a really basic like linen. Can you see that? Like the kind of colours and the pattern. Like a really light linen um, shirt. I've actually already tried this on. It's really, really comfy. Um, and it's got like these are the buttons on the front. If it's going to focus. Um, I don't know. I actually just really like these pieces. And I think because it's getting a little bit warmer. Um, I just think it's really nice. And it kind of comes a bit longer at the back. I just need to give that a really good iron. But I have washed that already. Um, oh, didn't even realize I've actually got the labels here. Um, so yeah, this one was like two pound, and the best was like one pound fifty. Um, so really cheap bargains. Um, the last thing that I am going to show you um for today's video is I have picked up a basket. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to turn you and actually show you the other way because I think that'll be better. So let's do that. Let's just quickly show you. Let's turn you this. Right. Well, let me turn you around. So this is the basket now this was actually from the animal sanctuary um and it was on the floor and i i just looked at it and i thought this is definitely not for sale um i just love like the colors and just everything about it and um i spoke to the lady i was like is this like for sale is it like for a donation she was like well not really but if you can kind of make a donation then it's all yours and i was just ecstatic i just think it's absolutely gorgeous um so let me just quickly open it and that's like inside so there's nothing in there I can imagine that have been a picnic basket at some point. Um, I probably will use it as like a little picnic basket. I have a similar basket um, in the living room anyway. Um, but I think this one, because it's like it's really nice weather, I thought if I can just collect some little things and like put a picnic blanket, blanket in there and just kind of take it somewhere and have like a little picnic, I think that would be really cute. Um, but to be honest, I just could not leave that behind. Um, it had to come home with me. I'm just going to come away from the window because the sun is shining. It's really, really warm over there. And yeah, I'm just going to do freelance just get my breath back this is what i've been like for the last few weeks um so i'm really glad i've done this video today i've kind of just wanted to come on and give a bit of an update and um, just let you know where i've been i am still around um, i'm glad i showed you there now because i can put the rest in the washing machine and have the energy to put everything away now i've literally been in that room for weeks um and it's just been annoying me now i'm gonna get back to normal um, I've just got to put things away and put things back to normal. So oh, thank you very much if you've got this far to the video. I'm going to see if I can edit this now and publish it ready for you um, what you're going to watch today. Uh, I think, I don't know if I'm going to be uploading like during the week or next weekend, but I've definitely got some already pre-filmed and ready. So there is going to be videos ready for you um, to watch. I really hope you enjoy watching all of them um again thank you very much for supporting and joining me on this journey and i will see you in my next video which will be. Mm -hmm.